<laughs> You're right, I am never this early. But it's a weekend. My girlfriend's still house-sitting, so I can't spend time with her. Uh, which means we get to play more Gordian Quest. <coughs> How are you doing this morning, Nightingale? Uh, let's see. Um, I think that's a good brightness. Yeah, that looks good. Looking at my uh, light brightness. All right. It is past that five minute warning mark. We've got uh, the notification live on Discord and Twitter. I think, I think we're all set. Fifteen to thirty hours is what it says to take to beat this game. Fifteen to thirty hours. Oh snap, you're streaming too? Hold on, let me let me go lurk. I had no idea you were streaming right now. Am I following you? I don't think I'm following you. One sec. There we go. Not a worry. Okay. What have you got for me, Marco? Alright, let's look at some stuff. Spell attack, melee attack, ranged attack. I can put on a quiver. Oh, that's good to know. All right, so the agility is super nice as a shield bash. Well, good day to you, Philo. How are you? It's mighty lovely to see you around today. Oh, that also gives me vigil. What else gave me vigil? Oh no, this gives me agility. Nope, I think we're probably good. <clears throat> Excuse me. You are well on that mobile delay, so you apologize for the late time responses. No worries. I know Twitch can be a little hinky sometimes. Uh, so are we going to slay the dragon, find the gear cog? I think, I think we're going to go for the cog first. My day's been pretty good. Uh, woke up early. Lauren and I went to go pick blueberries. Uh, unfortunately, the blueberry bushes were not that ripe, so everything was still growing. So then we went to breakfast, and I demolished a giant Belgian waffle with strawberries, and it was delicious. We It was this, like, kind of, I, I would say a hole-in-the-wall diner, but it wasn't a hole-in-the-wall diner. It was, like, a diner off the side of the road, which is 
it can go two ways. It's either the best diner out there or it's really crappy food. And this diner was very good. The staff were super friendly. Uh, it had this like small town quaint feel, which is not something I'm familiar with out here in Seattle. Um, and it was just, it was a huge waffle and it was so good. And for the both of us, it was like 40 bucks. Y you can't go wrong with that. It was very tasty. Yeah, I was really surprised that there are places all over Washington that apparently have like blueberry fields that you can just go and pick them for free. Like they're just public, which I think is super cool. The wind begins picking up and soon turns into a raging howl. A heavy blizzard begins rolling through the area, impaling visibility. Impaling? Impairing. Yes. That awful stink. I don't think this place has been ventilated in a while. Hope these fumes aren't dangerous. Oh, but man, it was it was so good and it was so nice to to get out and go to one of these places. To a diner. I am a sucker for diners. I absolutely love diners. My goal in life is to live in a small town that I can frequent a diner. And... Okay, they're really healing me. <clears throat> You're a sucker for a self-picked fruit places or flower gardens? Oh, yes. Fresh picked fruit. Mwah. Farmer's markets? Love going there. How about you? How's your morning been? How are you feeling after your uh, subathon? Blood Dash, what a name for an item. That's crazy. But yeah, it was it was a lovely morning and I was enjoying myself. You're alive now and caught up on sleep, so you're sending out thank yous and tweets, but your day has been well, about to get a well-needed haircut. Oh, sick. Well, I'm so glad to hear that you are well and rested up and beginning to hopefully feel a little bit better. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't able to be there for all of the stream, but uh, from what I was able to catch, it was a delight and it seemed like everything went really well. And I'm so very proud of you. But I gotta ask, are you just getting one haircut or are you getting like an, an inch or two taken off? Like, I got a dad joke this. It's all good. Thank you for joining in for the games and tuning in. You had massive fun. Oh. You think I'm simply fantastic and you're grateful. I'm grateful to have you as a friend, and I think you are absolutely fantastic. Thank you for the lurk. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will catch you later. It's such a delight to uh, to see you today. An inch and a touch up on your bangs and layers. All right, all right. That makes sense. Uh, you'll have to give us a before and after.
You gotta love the dad jokes. Gotta love the dad jokes. I live for dad jokes. All right, you ruffians. How are we going to destroy you today? Hmm. Uh, Caltrops will push that there. We'll hit you guys with that. Make you get hit a little bit more. Um, and let's take you down. Ooh, I don't think that's gonna quite kill you. So let's enfeeble. Let's holy bolt. And then we're going to Celestial Wrath you. Oh, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna take a ton of damage. I uh, did not think this through. I could really use that, uh, that one skill that heals me. Uh, let's... Let's get you killed. You should die. Uh, critical aim, multi-shot, explosive hit. Alright, Penitence is not the skill that I was hoping for, uh, but I'll take a Mend. Oh, heck yeah, Consecrate. Uh, and then let's shift up here. This guy should die. Uh, I'm gonna move back here. That guy shouldn't hit anyone, I don't think. Okay, he just hits him. That's fine. That's fine. We can we can live with that. Uh, we're going to Blizzard, and then we're just gonna end turn because you're fine. Um, we're going to. You're rooted. You can't move. Uh, I guess we're gonna end turn. And we're going to... Ah, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to get him healed. Looks like he still might be under the effect of it, though. I don't know if that healing is going to tick off or not. I did get some healing, so that's good. And Pierre and Catherine leveled up, which is fantastic. All right, Pierre, where were we headed for you? I feel like we were headed to this double stat point. And we have a new skill tree. Uh, yeah, let's, let's give you that extra AP, put it right there. Catherine, I think, was also going toward extra AP, wasn't she? Yes, right here. Perfect. All right, maybe we can heal up some on this combat. Lightweight arrow. Um, we'll mark you heavy arrow.
There we go. Kill that guy, shift him back. Um, both of you are going to hurt, so we're going to move you all the way down here. And he already went. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, oh, good. Sustaining strike. Um, let's smack you. You're going to die. Uh, we will... Weapon throw... Shift one. Then we'll weapon throw you in the back. Get rid of heavy blow. We'll wide strike all of you. And... Melee you. That's just an enfeeble, and you're gonna die. All right, we should be good. Good, now Catherine's fully healed. Uh, let's see if we can get snake bite on our boy here. Nope, I tried. Uh, retain up to one card? Yeah, we'll retain triple shot real quick. Uh, does she have anything that will heal? Just not. It was worth a shot. There's Bertram's level. Did you have an AP that we were heading toward, Bertram? I feel like we did. Unless I already grabbed it. It's right there. So I'm missing another one anywhere? I don't think so. Okay, so if it's right there, we've got three levels till we can get to that. Which is fine. We'll get there eventually. <clears throat> and of course we're gonna use all this incense to get some extra stuff, because that's how we do. We gotta make the game at least a little harder. Oh boy, you come across a narrow corridor. Crude spears line the walls. Periodically, spears in different sections punch forward. You have to intuit a pattern to avoid the traps. All right, Pierre. Don't do me dirty. You, you did me dirty, Pierre. You did me very dirty. Uh, do we re-roll that? Yeah, we re-roll that. You rolled the exact same thing, Pierre. You had advantage, and you rolled the exact same thing. Everyone has to roll. And of course, Bertram, the dexterous one, uh, is the only one who dodges it by sheer luck, not by intelligence. Gotcha, Bertram. I don't know what it means by bond heroes together by following up on comments that they make. We're gonna tumble, we're gonna get rid of cartwheel. We're going to, what is this to? Apply H shock. You're gonna do a ton of damage. Um, we don't have much. All right, that's gonna be enough. Turn there. All right, you've got a lot. Um, you should righteous blow him. Heavy blow him, and then straight up moiter that guy. I, uh, I think my sister just texted me to let her, or to let me know that, uh, she's pregnant again.
Oh, weird. I wonder what hit me. Oh. Okay. So, what have you got? Holy Bolt? Uh, yeah, just take that guy out. And then Righteous that guy. Perfection. Not too much healing anymore, huh, Catherine? All right, so we've got, uh, we're gonna Caltrop one side. We will Guided hit you, and then hit both of you. Let's try drawing again. Hey, look, another Wind Blast, perfect. Um, do I have anything that'll give me channel? Nope, sure don't. Um, do have a mending. So I'm going to throw that down real quick. Block, parry. Wait for these guys to come in. All right, so one of them I need to kill you in the back. I need to kill uh, before. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna kill them both, so that's fine by me. Uh, we want to retain multi-shot. Uh, we're going to root you. Just in turn. And Catherine... Once again, doesn't have uh, any healing things. Kind of what I was hoping for. That's fine, I guess. All right, I think everyone should have a good chance at hitting this guy. Um, going to critical, inferno, double shot. Uh, nope, Bertram's gonna just take him out. Bertram's too strong. Descend down another level. Oh, good. I'm glad that we hit the shrine first. Hey, Pokey! Uh, I don't know how to take that from you, but uh, you're looking pretty good yourself today, dude. How have you been? It's been a hot minute. You've been great. I'm glad to hear that. How has uh, school and everything like that been going for you? I've been doing all right. Uh, just hanging out and uh, really enjoying the games and stuff I've been make, uh, making, playing. Um, excited for uh, to dig more into like 3D modeling and video editing because it's been a while since I've done those and I miss it. where I need to go. Okay, perfect. What does this have for me? Just a rare item and a rune? Go ahead and deal with the skittering echoes. You suddenly grow aware of something large approaching. At first, it's almost imperceptible. A soft skittering that echoes down the tunnels. 
You might be forgiven for thinking it was just a rat. Soon, however, it grows into, an, into a horrid overture that reverberates through the area. School has been good this semester. You're enjoying your database development project. Photoshop is easy. Visual Basic is easy. Pretty easy semester. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, I'm surprised that they're having you do a Photoshop class. Uh, and I'm curious about what you're learning in your database development project. Are you learning like SQL or a programming language for database? Or are you learning like how access works or how databases are made? But I'm glad it's easy. A giant serpentine creature zips in from an adjacent tunnel, smashing through everything, the scrap piles, and sending loose bolts flying everywhere. It cannot be mistaken for anything other than what Okoro had described as the Hell Serpent. Aggravated at your intrusion, the Hell Serpent coils up and prepares to defend its lair. I don't remember him mentioning Hell Serpent, but it's been like five hours since I got to this place, so I probably just forgot. He big and ugly. Probably should have tried using that instead. Uh, but let's blind him. Let's heal. And we'll throw a cure ailment on myself. Um, don't know if this guy's going to move, but I'll try throwing something down. Uh, what have you got for me? We're gonna shock, lame dash. Deal 36 damage, knock back to a row, plus 20 damage for every cell move. Oh, knock back to not to back row. I want to shift back one, it sounds like. It's database development with C Sharp using SQL. You could have used o OLEDB? OLED. Uh, I don't know what that is. Um, but Frick Access. Oh, yeah. Frick SQL, but also for. Yeah, no, 100%. SQL is god awful. I absolutely abhor SQL. Access was also bad, but just learning SQL in general was a terrible time. Um, let's get rid of this. A multi-shot. Blow you up. Uh, how do you target? Target specific cells. Okay, so we're gonna shift over one. Then we're gonna arc lightning, split lightning, explosure, explosion, explosion, and then ice shot. He wasn't hurt anyway, so it's fine. Or he wasn't uh, burning anyway. Um, all right, you're gonna mend on yourself, deflect, and then soul tether, because I ain't got much else I can do. Yeah, I honestly, dude, we were we were talking a bit about this actually last night. Um, I had some other people who had learned or were learning programming um, hanging out, and all of us agreed. Every single one of us agreed. 
SQL sucks. draw two more cards. Uh, we'll get a quick barrier, and we'll do that. You didn't like learning SQL because you were and slash are learning C Sharp and HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and SQL all at the same time. Oh, gross. I mean, more power to you, but also gross. I mean, I learned a little bit of HTML and CSS, and that was fine. You know, I enjoyed that. Didn't touch, uh, I did not touch any JavaScript, though I kind of wish I had. Um, great. All I got was a dodge. And I guess a critical if I need it. Hey, we killed him without anyone dying. I love it. Mortal Steps. Poison stacks you apply are increased by four. Ooh, once per battle, gain 20 guard if a hit takes you, takes your HP below 30%. Um, I'm gonna have to see if Bertram can wear those. A lucky strike opens up a fatal gaping wound, showering the room with the serpent's bloody viscera. It thrashes around for a bit, blindly smashing through more scrap piles before settling to a rest for good in the far corner. It takes a while to sift through the mess, but you eventually find a rusty cog sized to fit the gondola's motor. It should do the job. Hey, Bertram. <sighs> it could be good. But I don't do a lot of poison. So, I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to go over to this one to grab the rare item and the three vigil. And then we're going to go to the crater, I guess. We're going to save the dragon for last. Uh, snake bite. Just start hitting people. Okay, what have you got? You've got Deflect. Uh, I'm gonna shift you forward one because you've got more shield. And then who do we wanna take out? You're gonna hit me regardless. You're gonna hit him, you're gonna hit him. You're also going to hit him. Okay, so Bertram's going to be taking most of the damage, so we want to get rid of that guy. Just the way the school had it set up, uh, but basically you put SQL to the side and only did what you needed to to pass the class, because you had a crappy teacher who just read the book and never opened the program himself to show you anything. Just told us to copy the query examples in the book that you're supposed to work, and that was your practice to him. Gross. What a terrible way to do it. At least my instructor, when I took it, um... Oh, good. Double tap? Heck yeah. Uh, at least my instructor actually tried to help us. That was always nice. Um... Still no healing, which is kind of what I was wanting. Well, that's fine. Oh, sweet. Catherine leveled up. Um, I was working towards something with her. Or was it just grabbing that increased AP? I think it was just the increased AP. 
but we'll pick up this upgrade node and I'd love to get another sustaining strike. Or maybe I should actually rank up some of these mend cards. Yeah. As SQL was just uh, a terrible time altogether. Come across a musty storeroom filled with alchemical apparatus. A thick layer of dust cakes the shelves. You wonder if you'll find anything here. Oh, I succeeded. And that leveled him up. As luck would have it, you find a crate filled with various potions. Some of them still seem useful. Good job, Pierre. You are far less useless than I expected. Let's get you that extra AP. Um... The database class, though, I feel like I definitely did not learn anything at all. That class was like, as soon as I was done with it, it was out of sight, out of mind. Um, I worked in Access, which is why I was asking. That's how they uh, did my class, uh, which really wasn't that great. I, As soon as I finished the class, I did a very short... Um, I did a very short, like, contract work for someone that my professor recommended me to. Uh, and after that, never touched it again. Jack's Loathing. Nice. Oh, I forgot to, uh, gotta buy supplies. Go. A different database development class you had with him was a book from 2007 in the way the classes were arranged. It's a type of class that you needed to take over more basic class, other more basic classes. So you didn't understand anything that was being said to you. Oh, that sucks. They didn't even give you the prerequisites that you needed before you could take the class. Oh. Please tell me this is like a community college or an online college or something and not like a quote unquote prestigious university. It's a technical college. Oh, I feel like that's even worse. The fact that a technical college is having that much trouble. Oy vey. A well-received technical college around there. I'm guessing the dude's got to be tenured. That's the only reason I could imagine he has not been canned. Oh my god. That's crazy. Glistening yellow feather lands on your shoulder. It seems a tad too heavy to be an ordinary feather. Upon closer inspection, you realize that it's made of gold. Well, I already have full fate, so I'm gonna take it. The feather bursts into a shower of coins when you touch it. You've never seen such transmutative magic before. 
The coin, the coins clatter noisily upon the ground, and you gain fifty gold. Well, that's neat. Excellent. This seems to lead down into a vault of some kind. The ceiling caved in. Something about this place gives me the creeps. Um. Okay. Well, first we're going to safe passage. Um, and then we're gonna go to this event. Might be your imagination, but something seems amiss about a section of the passageway. All right, Bertram, don't fail me. Bertram, or Bertram, Pierre, you failed me. I don't come across anything of importance. They can't fire him because there is no replacement. The classes you had with him, everyone gave him bad reviews, and the school takes reviews seriously for once the school does that. There's gotta be someone to replace him somewhere. Or if he's irreplaceable, but he's not updating his stuff, then those classes need to be canned. Like, that's ridiculous. All right, um, we're gonna tumble. Uh, we'll get rid of drill hit. Heavy arrow, caustic arrow, and then we will multi-shot the guys in the front. Draw one card and we'll wind blast those guys in the back. Flame and grasp. Lemon grass, ice. Cream. That was easy. No computer science teacher. Uh, teachers are hard. No computer science teachers are hard. Normally, let alone hard to find. Okay, I I should have should have read ahead a little bit. Hard to find in Louisiana, let alone in Louisiana. I don't know. I I knew a. Uh, Ooh, creates a static field that lasts one turn. Gains six critical when you apply shock and four lightning resist. Hey, what have you got on you? I feel like giving this guy uh, a little bit more in the way of spirit is a good idea. Everyone gets a little bit more HP. Look at that. So good. Um, yeah, I knew a guy. Oh, no, he's in Alabama, not Louisiana. I was going to say, I know a guy in uh, Louisiana who might be a, a good alternative to... Um, to whatever professors they have, but uh, never mind. Hey. He was a programmer too. He was a programmer, uh, stayed on for help desk when the company he belonged to got acquired. Uh, real nice dude. Come across a muddy chest. Uh, lose three fate, gain one item. I'm gonna move on. Eldritch Horror. In the dim light, you make out the writhing form of the beholder, a many-eyed monstrosity. You feel an overwhelming sense of dread just witnessing its presence. You recall Okoro's tale of each eye being able to curse anyone that locks eyes with it. It moves in your direction, but it has not detected you just yet. You may be able to avoid it by dipping into a side tunnel. Alternatively, you could obtain one of its eye stems. Could be a most valuable trophy indeed. 
You lower your gaze to the floor and prepare to engage the beholder. A sudden lance of energy zips past, narrowly missing you and sending you scrambling for cover. Okoro certainly didn't mention that its eyes could also unleash energy beams. Things just got complicated. This is probably going to be a hard fight. Although that is a wicked looking beholder. Uh, we're gonna get rid of that. We're going to critical aim. We're gonna precognition. We're gonna get some dodge. Double shot and there. Um, going to explode. Try to get rid of that if we can. Um, I need to hold on to one of these, so I might as well... And then throw my weapon. He's just gonna hit someone regardless, so he might as well hit Catherine. Wow, that did so much more damage than I expected it to. Okay, uh, you, sir. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that there and see if maybe you hit it. Uh, yeah, we'll retain the wind blast. Um... Oh, how long am I disarmed? Ah, so I can't do attacks. She's not disarmed. Thank God. And we're gonna cure ailments. Oh boy. Your first class with him, your classmates basically had to confront him a day before the final and was like, we didn't learn anything. And he kept seeing it as if we weren't taking responsibility for some of it, which for some is true and some it wasn't. And refused to understand that you were trying to say that this approach for just reading the textbook verbatim and then telling us to copy query examples, never opening SQL to show us anything was not a good teaching approach. None of us uh, didn't know how to open a database. We didn't know we had to click on edit top 200 to open, to open a database, basically, because he never showed us in the textbook expected us to have known. Wow, that is awful. I am so sorry. Triple shot, and we should be able to do every single one. It's got a thousand HP. Uh, yeah. Hey, we're gonna double clap, double cast Blizzard real quick. Okay, bodyguard. Um. Get, get something here. Holy Force, Mend, Celestial Wrath. Oh, I just got rid of all that chill. Oh, I'm such a dummy. Oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. That was gonna be such a huge chunk of his health. Oh, you just never thought a teacher basically teaching something as hands-on as IT and not doing it himself to show us how it's done. He's probably to the point where he's like, you know what? I... He was probably like, I have... Uh... Oh boy. He's probably like, I have it made here and I have no reason to... Uh, I have no reason to actually care because they're not going to get rid of me. Catherine. 
Catherine is going to get destroyed. I'm so angry at myself for getting rid of that. part-time job for him his real job is something else oh wow yeah he just he really doesn't care does he all right so Catherine should be good says he was only affecting those. Okay. Um, Caltrops. I'm gonna put him right there in the center because he likes, he seems to like going back and forth. Push him back. That, Soul Tether. That just targets regardless. All right, so I have to shift here because it's going to spread the damage. Bolt. Righteous blow. And I shift here, move here. Now it'll split be now it'll be split between the three of us. Um men. Shield Bash, Tether, and I'm going to shift back with Bertram so Bertram gets hit by that. <sighs> and normally you would be understanding that he has two jobs. Uh, it must be hard for him to teach at the most effective way while also having a good performance at his real job because you wouldn't you would do bad at that personally, but your other computer science teacher is doing her own schooling for more programming stuff, a game designer for a small indie company, and a full-time teacher at your school. I don't know how she functions either, but if there's one thing I've learned, it's that women are significantly better at doing things like multitasking than men are. which I'm going to throw down real quick. Um, can't shift, so I'm going to block, blind. Shift one here. Penitence. Shield back, and then heal myself, and move back here. 
Yeah, that's crazy that... Oh, thank God it's dead. That's crazy that she's doing so much. How I see it, women are better at micro or macro multitasking. Men are better at micro multitasking. Uh, so women are more adept at doing many big things at once, whereas men are better doing at doing many little things at once, typically. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a blanket statement. It's generic. It's not everyone. Twisted gaze. Grant's optic beam. Uh, one intelligence, two spell attack, plus one rank to a random debuff skill in hand on start of battle, and gain 1.5 SP when you play a debuff card. It's a messy affair, but you finally manage to overwhelm the beholder. Its lifeless corpse tumbles to the ground with a sick squelch. You find a relatively intact eye stem and sever it. Might come in handy in the future. Wait, did I get two? Uh, where are you headed? All right, what do we want to upgrade? Where's my leveled up double shot? Did I max, max that one out? I guess we'll do triple shot. Let's rank up triple shot. Like you can keep track of a bunch of small things, but not many big things. Midi, the opposite, we balance each other out really well. Yeah, yeah, you do. Um, oh, that drops a legendary accessory. All right, let's go there. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I used to be really good at managing a whole bunch. Um, but I feel like I've really lost that ability, uh, as time has gone on. hair you lose the more brain cells go with it <laughs> uh so you just get dumber every time you get a haircut huh is is that how that works sounds like that's how that works That guy's almost dead. No, from the follicles, not the ends. Hey, you you didn't specify. I was simply picking up what you were putting down. Uh, we're going to righteous blow that guy. Uh, smack a lack that dude, and we'll celestial wrath him. And then we'll deflect and soul tether. You're, you're molding? Is that male pattern balding? Is that the acronym for it is molding? That sounds disgusting. don't like the the acronym for it molding mm -mm.
All right, we're an hour in. We've downed uh, the Hell Snake, and we've downed the Beholder. We should have the dragon. I think we could do the dragon. I think we'll be fine with the dragon. Balding is mad balding? Oh, basically so mad that you're balding or a mad bald person, i.e. Asmongold. Ah, I've never heard that before. But it checks out. It makes it makes sense. Uh oh good, I do have a wide swing. Uh okay, so let's heavy blow. Oh shift one over. We will wide swing everyone in the front. Um We will Shield bash. And we're gonna weapon throw this dude. And then we're gonna holy force. You're attacking me. You're also attacking me. You're attacking no one. You're attacking no one. And you're gonna die. Um, so we're going to Holy Force you in the middle, so that way you die. Wow, I love that this guy is getting hit. I don't know why he was getting hit, but I love that he was getting hit. Uh, Lightweight arrow, double shot. Precognition, lightweight arrow, uh, lightweight arrow, infernal shot, and triple shot. There we go. Ooh, Umbra. It's an interesting belt to have. Gotta go, you might be back later. All right, well, thanks for hanging out, Pokey. It was really good chatting with you again. It's been too long. Take good care of yourself, and I will catch you next time. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I don't know what I want to go for on him. I guess a skill mastery. Oh, gain a channel? Yo, I should definitely up something to gain some channel. That's actually really nice. Uh, do I have anything that gives me more initiative? I think I was moving toward this. Maybe I had grabbed this last time. Could just get that three bonus to initiative. Hmm. I don't have anything in my tier three talent slot yet, do I? No, I barely have any extra talents on her. Let's unlock that real quick. Soul Reaver, one spell damage recover recover two HP on kill or six if the enemy was an elite. Not bad. Uh, I should really be 
Oh, okay, I see. I should really be looking at some of these higher things. Rising Tide. Every card in your deck above your minimum deck limit increases SP gain by 1%. If you have at least 25 cards in deck, gain 1 SP on battle start. 15% max HP and 3 physical resist. 15% max HP. Whenever you consume a, ch a fury charge, gain 3 HP. Oh, that's kind of nice. Cover 4 HP on turn start. You can recover up to 20 HP this way per battle. I think I would rather have a max HP and more defense. Yeah, I'm gonna get a gonna get tough as um and then we're gonna leave. I got everything I needed for in here. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the frozen caldera. Uh, we're gonna teleport back to the base camp. We're going to make sure to actually buy supplies this time. Uh, we're gonna get everyone healed. And we're gonna talk to Marco. Dang, Thunderbolt's kind of sick. I mean, that's 100 damage for a 2 AP. What do you got gambling-wise for me? You've got two legendary weapons. Kinga. Grants double shot, grant, gain two critical after using a primed shot. That could be really good for uh, Bertram. Shattered Blade, show a force, gain two might, grant one might to adjacent allies. Show a force will affect all allies, gain six thorns when hit by an attack and one melee damage. That's pretty cool. Um, Wind Fury. Okay, so let's look at this. Wind Blast deals eight more damage. Ranged attacks generate one critical. Oh, well, that's why he always does so much damage, is because ranged attacks. He does a lot of ranged attacks. Attacks. Oh, man. It is nice having Wind Blast, but... I do have Multi-Shot. And that is going to give me more critical with primed shots. I think I might try swapping these out. So we're going to mirror. Oh, it's already got max rank of four. Uh, not intelligence. Attached skills, gain the purge modifier, remove a random debuff on self when played. That could be nice. Uh, it doesn't do a status effect. Attached skills have negative one AP cost on first use. That could be nice. Potentially get more damage out that way. We're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna try that out. For once, Bertram, or not Bertram, Marco gave me something worthwhile. Um, and who else do I need to visit? June? June, you got nothing. Barnaby? Ooh. That could be nice. Uh, where was it? Four spell attack, one max channel charges, and seven to initiative.
I think that's going to be better for you in the long run. And we'll just give you some more initiative. Alright, so back to the frozen caldera. And off to fight a, off to slay a dragon. Dang it, I was trying to avoid him. Ah, another exploration. All right. can try to go for this fire and then those things. Oh, I got one more. I didn't even see the uh, the cave to explore. Oh well. Alright. Next encounter. One step closer to that Daggeron. Yeah, I couldn't have done this last night. I was thinking, oh, maybe I could have uh, completed this last night, but no. No siree, Bob. All right, so you got caustic arrow. We're going to triple shot. You know what? We're going to critical. Um, going to block, shift, we're going to heavy blow, it's 25 and cleave, or 23, 25 and cleave, and then we're going to, he's already gone, so we're going to shift up one, Oh, I can't hit him. It's too far away. We'll get rid of that one. We'll we'll reduce the damage as much as we can. I didn't realize it was going to hit both of them. I really wish the cards did a better job at stating who and what exactly it's going to hit. two targets and two cells. Ah. So it only shows one, and then it's just someone from one of the other cells. We're gonna double cast Blizzard. Um, so that way we can explode. And then we're gonna Blizzard. Blizzard. Shocking touch. Ice shot.
Oh, right. I forgot. Um, okay. I'm gonna have a little bit of a walk up and around here, aren't I? Alright, let's keep exploring. Some map fragments and some more rare essence. Beautiful. Um, boy, I would love a fountain. Encounter a wandering bard. Um, I'm gonna lose 100 gold for 250 renown. Uh, all right, Dragon yes. Airy. This is where the menagerie used to be. Judging by the look of things, I'd say it's turned more into a dragon's feeding ground. Hope you know what you're doing. Boy, I sure don't. Several skeletal corpses lie crumpled in a small alcove. Uh, yeah, let's ignore it. It might be a trap. You don't want to risk it. A node has been modified. Go to this event. You come across a musty storeroom filled with alchemical stuff. All right, Pierre. Hey, you did it, Pierre. What'd you get me? Uh, ooh, an auger's orb. That's actually very good. Uh, place an item to transmute it. Uh, where do those bleed boots go? Let's transmute Death's Parade. We got Butterfly Edge. Grants double slash, double slash, apply seven poison. That's pretty nice. If I had Alphonse, that would be a, a great thing for Alphonse. But I don't. I don't have Alphonse. Maybe, maybe another day we'll get Alphonse. Maybe a day we'll bring him back. Uh, we'll get rid of momentum. Kill him. Uh, draw two cards. Um, take arc lightning and double cast it. Shift one, holy bolt, oh, I'm out of SP. Uh, oops, <laughs> I didn't allocate that right. That's fine. We got these three guys left, all right. Bertram, yeah, that's exactly what I was hoping to get. Um, it's a prime shot, right? Yeah, let's see if we can get any other Arrow cache, perfect. Caustic arrow, lightweight arrow. Destroy those guys. Uh, you're not hurting. We're going to sustaining strike him, and let's see if we can get a heal card. Uh, back up one. 
right? We will go down one, heal you, and soul tether. And then, oh, I could have gone to that one, but whatever. Chaos Strike. It's a Windigo. Um, all right, so we're going to tumble. And we're going to get rid of Soul Tether. We're going to Bow Draw. We're going to Multi Shot. Piercing Strike. Double Shot. Double Shot. All right, we're doing we're doing all right, fending our way through these dragon caves. Um. Oh, should have done that first. Darn it! What I get for not paying attention. He's now he now goes first because he has so much initiative, which I think is absolutely hilarious. Uh, let's get a channel. Gonna parry and we're gonna weapon throw this guy. Get rid of that, and then we're gonna celestial wrath him and give him a channel. Uh, and now you're just gonna lightning strike. Bertram's leveled up again. Where where are we going for you, man? Let's upgrade another thing. Triple shot. Great triple shot. It's gonna be 75 damage on a triple shot. We're gonna gain one fade and move on. All right, six HP on clear. So hopefully I don't take any or much damage. Okay, so we're going to fade to shadow. Perfect. Uh, we will Humble. Uh, get rid of heavy arrow. That's better. Um, what have you got for me? Flame. Ice. Go here. And root. Shield bash. Yes, blind. And then we're going to weapon throw on this guy. Get rid of that. Okay. Pierre's in a bad way. Take a 
critical aim. Mark that guy. What have you got for me? What have you got for me? Um, you can holy bolt him. You can righteous blow on him. Shift to here. Shield bash him. They're getting some insane buffs. Oh good, he jumped back into my caltrops. That's great. Uh we got much to do, but we'll do it. Alright, so that'll at least kill him. Uh yeah, just move forward one. Heavy blow, parry. Uh I can't move back. Oh. oh, there's one more? <laughs> I didn't realize there was one more dire wolf reinforcement. Oops. Uh, well, you're kind of uh, a joke. Let's be honest. A lot of combat going through here. Ooh, what is that thing? That's a new one. It's a drake. Ooh. Um, I have a feeling I should double cast Quick Barrier. Oh good, I got Penitence. Uh, ow. And then I also got Fog. Of course you hit him in the back. Oh, poor Bertram. Poor, poor Bertram. Uh, you can tumble. We're gonna get rid of cartwheel. We're gonna triple shot this fella. And double shot this fella. You notice the tunnel branch off into another area separated by an iron gate. Gate is kept shut by a rusty lock and chain which looks like it might give way under some force. Uh... We'll just gain an exhaustion. Just fine. I was literally one short. Let's re-roll. Let's see if I can get it. Nope. Did even worse. I wonder what skill got exhausted. Oh. I hope it was nothing like penitence. <laughs> you know, I don't... I feel like I don't often see... Um, leave strike that off.
Uh, don't really need sustaining strike, uh, but there's my wide cleave. Uh, let's hit this guy with holy force, and then we'll just try to get that guy down. That deflect, and then we'll shift one up. Well, they, uh, they certainly lined up for this one. has leveled again. Yeah, it's, it's to the point where they're just leveling very quickly, which I'm very okay with. Um, let's rank that up. Ah, getting so close. Tumble, um... Get rid of Spotter. Uh, we're gonna throw Alprop there. Lightweight arrow. I'm gonna go hit that guy. Uh, we're gonna arc lightning everyone here. And burn down that rock. And it tends them. Heavy blow. Uh, blind him, and then let's... What are you doing? You're just pulling a target. Well, that's fine. Get rid of the damage. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> one down. Hello, uh, I hope I pronounced this right. Is it Sicklemori? Sichelmori? How are you doing today? We're gonna cartwheel to the back. Uh, we're gonna get rid of guard, because I think we'll be okay. Anything but parry. So we'll move to the center. All right, Bertram, don't get yourself hurt. Caustic, uh, humble here. Rid of heavy arrow. Inferno arrow. You're fine. It's French, but good pronunciation. Oh, so would it be Seichel? Seichel Mori? I'm not very good at French, but uh, I'm happy to give it a try. But I'm glad to hear you're doing well. Uh, I think it's still Saturday for you. You having a good Saturday so far?
Oh my god, I have a mend. Uh, can I holy force just anything to try and get a heal? That'd be great if I could. Okay, so you're going to snake bite. Snake bite this guy. Um, shot him. Double shot him. Triple shot him. And double shot him. I got real lucky with all that. So one exhaustion and you leveled up again. Uh, let's just get another... Get another unlock node. Thank you, thank you. Uh, it's only taking me like 30 hours, but I think I'm starting to get this game. <laughs> uh, what would I upgrade? This will give me more health, so let's upgrade sustaining strength. All right, we're gonna camp real quick. We're going to make sure that everyone is nice and healed and buffed up for the upcoming raid. Uh, so the only person who really needs healing is Bertram. Um, you still need healing. So cook a meal so that way she can get rid of her exhaust. Now he's maxed, you're going to restring, uh, and we'll end it there. Let's go fight this dragon. The winding steps finally lead you to the top of the airy. The winds here are harsh, and it's a struggle just to walk in a straight line. A horde of skulls and its treasure sits in the center of the area, probably where you might find the operator's key. You don't see the blue dragon. You can feel its ominous presence out there, watching from beyond the blizzard's edge. A sudden roar shakes the skies, and you make out the faint silhouette of the dragon swooping through the skies. It seems you've caught its attention. Fighting by a recess in the airy, or in the airy could offer protection against the raging blizzard, but it's a shallow space with little room to maneuver. Alternatively, fighting the open could make it easier to avoid the dragon's attacks, but the buffeting winds could be a danger. You must make a decision fast. Um, let's fight in the recess. You back into the shelter of the recess, ready to face the blue dragon head on. Here's hoping it doesn't have any AoE. It seems like a really bad idea, but I'd rather the dragon not be able to fly off quite as easy. And I don't like the idea of being... I think I've got room. I like, I like a smaller battlefield. This is fine by me. Okay, so we need to double cast Arc Lightning, so that way we can cast Lightning Shatter on him. Okay, so now it should hit no one, which is great. Uh, two, four, five, six. Okay, so I need... Forty-six and enfeeble, forty-seven in health regen, sixty-two in channel, ninety-nine. Uh, so what did the low lowest? I think we're gonna have to use this on sustaining strike. Uh, that was pretty good. 
already got him down to half health. That's not that's not half bad. We did some good damage. Uh, we're gonna shatter. Um. I have enough to go over. We're gonna double shot, multi shot, real hit, tether, over. Uh, targets from back to front. If all opposing units are in the same row, priority goes from same lane, upper lane to bottom lane. All right, well, Bertram, you're just gonna have to take this one. Uh, so we're going to apply some burn. Imagine he's got some kind of ice resistance. But I guess we'll see. No, still gets affected by chill. It's 166 chill. to say it, and maybe I'm saying it a bit early, but this dragon's a little bit of a pushover. <laughs> nope, that, that was it. There was no extra bit to it. That dragon was very easy. Hail Raker grants Frost Bolt plus two spell attack damage. Chill stacks you apply are increased by five and cold resist. The final blow sends the great beast spiraling to the ground. The impact is enough to send you flying off your feet. Soon the raging winds settle and calm return and calm returns to the airy. All right, thanks for stopping by. It was really good to chat with you for a little bit. Have a good evening. Take good care of you and your kid. Uh, in death, the blue dragon has been freed from the Vanai's experimentation. Sifting through the horde, you focus your attention on a brass key with an image of a gondola attached on it or etched on it. This might just be what you're looking for. Yeah, absolutely. Very glad to have you stop by. Take good care of yourself. Um, how's my inventory looking? Decent. Looking decent. Uh, what did I get he might use? It was a wand, right? I picked up a new wand. Uh, less spell attack. Less damage with attached spells. Alright, yeah, we're not gonna use that. It's fine. But we are going to teleport back. Um, <laughs> and we're going to get everyone healed and some stuff purchased. One fury, strength, dexterity, and might. And we'll just buy that. Uh, hey, Marco, you got anything of note for me? Not that I can purchase. That's fine. Uh, let's start salvaging some stuff again. So the waypoint is back to the gondola station. I don't think I have anything else that Wynn needs me to take care of here. Let's get over. You arrive at a tower by the cliff's edge. In the distance looms the slopes of Mount Aleth. 
a massive natural formation reaching up into the clouds. The tower connects with a twin station on the summit via a gondola line, the surest way to get to the Aleph summit. The most untenable alternative would be spending weeks navigating the steep and treacherous slopes. With the required components in place, the gondola creaks to life, slowly traveling up the line. For a while, you're able to put the stresses of the expedition aside as you are treated to a breathtaking view of the mountains. One can only imagine what the faded peaks in the mountain cities were like in its full glory. Up and away we go. Okay, so Shattering Strike for sure on these two. And both of them, I think, should die at the start of next turn. We're going to Righteous Blow on him and then Weapon Throw on the Wolf because it's going to do a ton of damage. And I think that should be all of them dead. Oh, of course he was survived by one. There's that uh, orcish resistance. Uh, what is it? Relentless endurance? I don't remember what it's called in D and D. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. The ruins here are quite different from the ones you've seen so far. There's a sense of opulence and affluence, rare privilege of being included as part of the inner expanse of Sky Imperium. Yet still, they must pale in comparison to the grandeur of the real thing. Looking up, you see the shadow of the massive city island floating far above the clouds. You steal your resolve and continu continue onward. Did absolutely no damage. Uh, um, so we're gonna bodyguard you. We're going to. Oh, that got rid of the chill. Um. I should have put that on myself so I would regen at the end of the turn. Didn't even think about it. That's right. If she's taking the damage, then it's fine. She can she can get herself healed up in no time. You know, I just noticed something about that model. It was uh, it was using a tombstone as a shield, I think, which was pretty cool. I love little um, attentions to detail like that. That's really clever. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I didn't even need to go that way. I could have gone up this way. I just I didn't notice that. You're trudging along in the snow when you feel the ground suddenly shifting beneath your weight. It gives way a second later and you're in immediate danger of falling into a deep crevasse. All right, Bertram. Don't fail me now. That that was a fail, Bertram. You literally had to get like a 3 or no, a 4. You land heavily on your back, sustaining some bruises. As your eyes adjust to the darkness, you realize that the fall was the least of your problems. You seem to have fallen right into a Wendigo's cave, and it looks like it's just about feeding time. Of course. Alrighty. Um, let's throw that down there. Arrow cache. Inferno. Heavy. Um, that there, explosion, absorb fire, and blizzard. Threat defeated, you locate a gentle incline further down the crevasse and laboriously make your way out. Alright, Bertram. We're working on getting you... Uh, we want to get you that next AP, don't we? Let's uh let's grab this root card. I think I think we've got a couple of things that'll root people, so that should be fine. Almost to the gondola. Almost to the end. Two hours in, and we're almost to the end of Act Two. Oh boy. You're attacking me, you're not attacking anyone, you're attacking me, and you're attacking me. You know what, I am okay with you uh, attacking the dude with all the shields, that's fine by me. Look at all that, and I've got no SP to speak of. He was rooted. Um, puncturing arrow. We're going to mark target. Just going to double shot you. We're going to get our payback. Um, shield bash. Penitent. Oh, penitent one. You clamber up the final set of snow-slick steps to the summit. A familiar voice drolly greets you over the howling wind. Once again, you defy my expectations. What is it that drives you? Asva rattles off as she eases herself off of a raised platform. A transportation circle of some kind. 
Truly, you are a thorn in my side. Regretfully, regret regretfully, I must cut this reunion short. I do, however, have the perfect company for you. At her behest, a strange black ooze begins seeping out from the ground, coalescing into a blob that grows rapidly in size. It appears very much like the shape-shifting ooze you first encountered with Okoro. This time, however, it morphs into your very likeness, complete with maniacal grin. The teleporter pulses, and Azva's form is spirited upwards to Sky Imperium, leaving you with a doppelganger. You must defeat it at all costs to catch up to Azva. Please tell me it's just copying one of my party? And not my whole party? I'm sorry, that's not my likeness at all. I'm offended. That's still not my likeness. That's a Lucius doppelganger. Let's see, can you do anything? All right, we're going to kill that one. Shock that one. Let's draw a couple cards. Lightning shatter, I'll take a lightning shatter. Deflect, and... Okay, my girl, what have you got for me? Um. Not enough. One of them's gonna die, at least. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, arrow cash, perfect. Uh, inferno arrow, puncturing arrow, heavy arrow. All right, that's all the black ooze down. And flame dash. Flame grasp, flame grasp, arcane lightning. Start getting the debuffs down. Uh, we're going to holy bolt, shield glare, and stunning strike. Then we're gonna use my last little bit of SP. Ow, Bertram be hurting. Uh, puncturing arrow, fade to shadow. Dodge. Hey, oh, Braz. Uh, the grind's going all right. We've uh, we've beaten. We beat the dragon, we beat the beholder, and now we're, we made it to the summit and we're fighting a replica of ourselves from another one of those oozes. Channel, a strike. Still Act 3? Still Act 3, but I believe we're at the end of Act 3. So, uh, what do I want to get rid of? Get rid of this, because I can't hit him with it right now. Anyway, I'm going to do Lightweight. So, hit him with that. Hit him with that. Hit him with that. That. And then a double hit. Bertram's really laying in the damage right now, and it is fantastic. Uh, we're gonna get a second explosion. Uh, 
was the goal beat Act 3 before Monday or beat the game? It's beat the game. So I've got to beat Act 4, uh, which is one of the reasons why... Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Okay. Now that's me. Do I have to beat you three times? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, definitely rough, but I am making good progress. You're you're right on that. Um, plus three root to target and deals twi plus 12 damage if target is already rooted. So I should snake bite and then do this and then triple shot. Uh, and he's got some burn on him, but we've got to blizzard him anyway. Because that's going to do much more damage than I can. Uh, fantastic. I got next to nothing here. Shift back one more. Okay, you know what? He can he can take the hit more than uh, Pierre can take the hit more than Bertram can right now. It's not gonna shift to every character you could play, right? I hope not. I'm hoping it's only a party of three because it did Lucius, who hasn't even been in my party. Um, it did him first. Hey, Glitch, have I mentioned having to traverse the entire map for your dead body retrieval is the world's worst thing in a survival game? Ooh, what game are you playing? I mean, I agree, but what game are you playing? Conan Exiles? Yeah. Yeah, I 100% agree. It always sucks to do a corpse run. Oh, no worries, Glitch. No worries. I was asking uh, what game you were playing. That's all. Oh, heck yeah. All right, so we're going to Flame and Grasp you first, then we're going to Ice Nova you, then we're going to Ice Shard, then we're going to Glacial Spark. That technically should kill you at the start of next turn. But just in case... Yeah, he's going to transform into... Yep, re Replica Deliverance. He's going to turn into someone else. Oh, no. He stayed as a formless void. Okay. Uh, we're going to mark that target. Uh, we're going to Lightweight Arrow. We're going to Tumble. Um, get rid of the dodge. That way we can double hit... Throw that down, double hit, and soul tether. Uh, you have to move. Uh, so I'm going to shift you here. Uh, we're going to explosion, flaming grasp, deflect, quick barrier. We're going to get some chant. Hey, Kane. Thank you so much for the resub, my dude. Welcome back to the adventure, your 40th adventure. 
That's bonkers to me that it's been 40. How are you doing? At least it's not vanilla Minecraft where your stuff poofs after a few minutes. That's true. That is very true. I hate it when stuff despawns. The worst part is the way you died, it was total trash. There was a resource node that sat right on top of a boundary wall. So as soon as your pick touched it, the game registered you as touching the wall and murked. Oh, there's a boundary wall that kills you? I did not know that. Uh, one second. Lauren is calling me. She was uh, calling to inform me that my sister is pregnant. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll let her know that you guys say so. Uh, I saw the text earlier, um, so I was just laughing at Lauren because she was like, there's a baby! <laughs> oh, she's very cute. I'm glad to hear you're doing well, Kane. It's good to see you. What are you up to right now? The Cursed Wall. I don't know if I ever made it that far in Conan. Uh, I'm going to be Uncle Cody for the fourth time. Uh, my sister Leah had... Uh, uh, baby boy, that's my nephew Casey. Uh, he's the oldest of my my uh, I don't know what you would call them. My little ones, my relatives, my young relatives. Hey, Stephen, how are you? Her excitement is very adorable. She's like, "Why didn't you tell me?" I was like, "Well, one, I'm streaming, and two, you were asleep." So, you're playing a game? Believe it or not, no way. Marvel Spider-Man on PC, how is it? I hate that I can't heal him right now. Whatever. That makes me Tio Cody? What does that mean, Braz? Is that, uh, port uh, is that, I was about to say Portuguese. You guys don't speak Portuguese. You guys speak Bra Brazil? Is it Portuguese? No. Do you call it Brazilian? Spanish for uncle. Ah, thank you, Glitch. As fun as it looked, it's as fun as it looked, you just didn't want it on PlayStation. I mean, that's totally understandable. I also wouldn't have wanted it on PlayStation. Soar, you were jackhammering all morning, haven't done anything that physically straining in a while, and your body is yelling at you? Oh my god. Uh, why were you jackhammer? Where were you jackhammering? That's so cool. I want a jackhammer. We're going to hold on to this, and, uh... Yeah, I've got it. Really? Really? You're going to make me shocking touch an invulnerable rock? I hate you, game.
Your judgment is passed. You made your first custom Spider-Man suit that isn't story related? You can make custom Spider-Man suits? Or do you mean like you crafted one in the game that wasn't story related? Uh... Chi, the letter U, it's uncle? So, wait, I'm confused. Chi, the letter U, it's uncle. What? The classic Scarlet Spider with the weird blue shirt, if you know it. Uh, I think I do. At your church, there was a massive rock formation in one of the basement rooms that they wanted to shave down to make it easier to build cabinets around. You have just bare rock protruding from the wall in the basement of your church? Oh, Chiyu. Chiyu. So not Tio, but Chiyu. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Wow, yeah, that is an old building if that's what it's like. Uh, let's heal everyone. Yes. The entity you defeated. It's nothing that I've ever seen or read about before. I would almost call it an extra planar origin. Something from a different dimension. The more worrying question is why Asva was able to control it. The Vanai are just full of secrets, Excellent. aren't they? Only one way to find out. The portal to Sky Imperium remains open still. Speak to me when you are ready. I cannot wait to see the Imperium up close. All right, Marco, you got anything for me to gamble on? Nope, nothing that I can afford. Anything good for me? Nope. All right, I think this is off to uh, the next act. We did it. We made it to the next act. You just want to see this building down for curiosity's sake? Yeah, me too. Hey, we shaved another two hours off of this one. Instead of eight some odd, it's six and a half. Perfect. You wish you took photos of before and after? Oh yeah, if uh, if Paige did, definitely send those our way. I would also like to see them. This looks like a mix of Slay the Spire and that game you forgot the name of where you play as Hades' son. Hades? You mean, you mean Hades? You talking about Hades? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would say this is more of, like, a mix of Slay the Spire and D&D. &D. Total damage dealt, 3,600. 59, oh, I'm sorry, 36,000, 59,000, and 16,000. Absolutely crazy. With the void monstrosity destroyed, the land may be given time and space to heal. All that remains is to confront Asva with the, within the walls of the floating city known as the Sky Imperium. Act 4. 